guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you know, last video we made some level of syrup and I told you guys we're gonna make the batlewa, the baklava. So today we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna show you how to make it and yeah, so let's get straight into it. All right, so guys, here we have, uh, I've got, you can use cashews, pistachios. I have walnuts because um, I like that best. So I've got two cups of walnuts. So I'm gonna chuck that straight in. And then in this little cup, I have two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a, like a tiny pinch of salt. Um, I'm gonna chuck that in it to mix up as well. Um, I didn't put, I only put two tablespoons of sugar because you don't wanna to add too much sugar because the syrup's like all sugar. It's very sweet, so it'll be too like sickening if you add too much in this. So I'm gonna leave that pretty plain. And yeah, and I'm gonna whiz this up. Put it until it's like fine crumbs. Like, I'll show you when it's like. When it gets there. I'm gonna have a little rule. Probably best to pulse it. But that's done. So guys, I just transferred the nut mixture into a bowl and I'm gonna set it aside soon, but it should be like, a coarse texture, not too fine, because you want to have some texture in these. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty nice grind. It's really even. And yeah, so I'm going to set that aside now. And we're going to, I'm going to get the filler pastry, the ghee, and a few other utensils. And we're going to get to rolling them up and making it. Okay, so guys, I've started already rolling some of them out, as you can see. Um, so I'll show you how to do a few of them. I have the filler pastry covered up here um, under two damp tea towels so it doesn't get damp, um, damp, dry. And I have some ghee here in a bowl with just with a pastry brush. And I have one sheet here ready. You'll also need something long so you can roll it. And yeah, so what you're gonna do is brush like a thin layer of ghee all over it, all over it. If it tears, it doesn't matter, it's gonna get rolled up. So that's all good. Just get it everywhere. Cause you can use butter, but I like ghee. Makes it taste better, I think. So that's about it. All right, so then I'm gonna get my knife sharpener and I'm gonna start rolling it over and try to get it as tight as possible, but it is gonna crinkle up like, as you can see, and just roll it up. So I'm just gonna roll and then once you get to like the last part, it's, you can just do it on the bench. And then you want to leave like an inch there, because and then, because you'll see why I'm saying. So after you get have it at this stage, you're gonna push it all the way down to the bottom, pull it up. See how's that? You're gonna fan it out. Try not to deflate it, and then in between. Just gonna pinch all those little edges together, and then the the inch we had at the at the border, that one inch border, that's gonna be the the little bed for where the nuts are gonna sit in there, and then that should just go on the tray. See that? So I'll show you one more time how to make it, and then I'm gonna go do the rest and show you the next step after that. So again with the ghee, one that way. This dish is so easy, like takes a bit of time, but pretty easy. Like there's what, three steps to it? And yeah, just get that. Right. So, 
not sharp enough. Put it down a bit so you can lift it over. And then just roll. It's getting a bit stuck on the bench. inch border. I'm gonna push, release it, and then show you. Can push that, push down the border to make it a little base. Don't worry about it coming undone. There's enough gear on it to <laughs> keep it stuck. Yeah. There you go. And then no one can go on the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest of it, and then I'm gonna come back, show you how to fill it, pop them in the oven, then we're good to go. So guys, I've finished rolling them all out and forming them into their shapes, and I've started filling them with our walnut mixture. So here, I have another small little tray with some over, over there. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I've made half a batch, not of the nut mixture, but of like rolling out the pastries because you can make like two batches with this and still have a bit more left over. Now we're gonna fill them. So I've got a, just a teaspoon, small teaspoon, you know, kitchen one. And just gonna pile it in there. What you wanna do is get a little mixture, let me angle it. And then just pour it in there. I pat it down a little bit so I can put extra on top. So about two teaspoons can kind of fit in each one, maybe even a bit more if you like. Yeah, and then just do that to the rest of them. Don't worry, some falls around. All right, so there you go. Now I'm gonna bake them in the oven until they're golden brown. And yeah, so I'll show you back when they're done. All right guys, so I've just literally pulled these out of the oven. They were in there for a, an hour, but start checking them around 45 minutes because see how nice and golden they are. All right, so I got my syrup. This is uh, this was in the fridge because you need to put cold syrup on it. I don't know the science behind it, but you have to have hot. But they were cold syrup. And then I'm just going to pour, pour it on over it. And then I'll tell you guys exactly how much. I put onto it. So you might, not gonna, all right, so I put probably a cup and a half of syrup all onto that. So I'm gonna let this cool. So guys, I'm back. I've let the, but they were cool. It's absorbed all the syrup. Um, you really want to let it cool before you eat it because it won't be as crunchy and delicious as usual. I've got one here that I'm going to try for you and let's see how it goes. Like, it's so, I cut it in half so you guys can see. If you can see, look at all the layers in it. But yeah, let's have a go. Some good shit. Some good shit. Alright. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'll see you next video. See ya. Bye.